Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one, we are going to head up to a little town called Longos, which is near Falkenberg and also Vorber as well. I was up there a few weekends ago with my flatmates and I got this and another local beer in the Sistian blog up there. So we're going to go to Forkored Femton for this one and this is their barley wine beer which is called Bottle Badger. So should be quite an interesting one. My very first Swedish barley wine beer so really interested to see what this one's like. So anyway, as always with my reviews I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery. If you do want to get straight to the tasting just fast forward. All the usual website links are in the video description below so check those out. There's the brewery website, the link to my future reviews that hopefully I can do from Falker Red Femton and also there is the Facebook profile for the channel and also the Untapped profile as well and feel free to connect with me in whatever way you wish and to my Swedish viewers please tell me some beers that you would like me to review here while I'm studying in Sweden. So anyway, to tell you about Falkared Femton, Falkared as I said are from a small village called Longos in Sweden which is between Falkenberg and also Vorber in Halland in Sweden and I will apologise during this video if any of my Swedish pronunciation isn't quite right. I'm just starting to learn Swedish now since I've arrived here so please bear with me for that. I'm sure I'll get better with that as I do more and more Swedish reviews. But anyway, the brewery was founded in 2013 by Philip and Elizabeth Nicholson and Phil is actually from England so most of the beers that you'll find from Volker Red Femton are brewed on the English styles and they're supposed to be quite good as well but they also own a pub in Longus called Volker Red Fox which is an English pub and sells many of the local Halland beers including Odd Brewing Company who also brew in the same brewing facility. But the idea behind having the pub in Longos was apparently to make um, both it and the town a kind of central meeting point in the whole of Halland and they also run brewery courses and uh, also tasting sessions as well. So as I say, go and check out the brewery website, there's a few interesting things there. But just to list the other beers you can get from these guys and they all have English style names which I was surprised about because when I saw it in Sisti and Blog it in Vorbear, um, I saw all these beers with English names that turned out to be Swedish. So the other beers you can get from Falker Red Femton are Moose Juice, which is an Imperial Stout, Ko Inor, which has a, a cow on the front of it, that's an English IPA, Falker Red, which is the Pale Ale, Lazy Bunny, which is a single hot beer, Wild Boar, which is an English Mild Ale, supposed to be a really good one that as well, and then you've got this guy here, the Bottle Badger, and all of these beers are available if if you go to their pub in Longos and it's open Friday, Saturdays and Sundays so make sure you go on the weekend if you do want to visit there. But anyway, let's get stuck into this beer then. I'll just bring up the camera and let you have a little look at the artwork of this one before we open it up. So as you can see it has a nice badger on the front of it. Quite an elusive creature actually. They don't really like to come out that much. I've only ever seen one in my life and that was a that was when it actually had been hit by a car, but my friend who has, uh, was the president of the Nature Society at Stirling, he actually saw one live in the, in the wild. They're very elusive creatures and very kind of timid, but they can also be very aggressive when confronted too. Interesting creatures. But this one comes in at 10.5%. It's a barley wine beer, as I said, English style barley wine. has a nice little badger on the front, and this is the similar style of artwork you'll get for all the, the Falkerod Femton beers. And uh, they're all just different colours and have different animals on them. Plain bottle cap on this one and all the bottle caps match the uh, the labels when it comes to fo to uh, Falkorod Femton as well. So it should be quite an interesting beer. So without further ado, let's get this guy out and we'll get on with the tasting. If you've watched my channel before, you will know that I really do enjoy a nice barley wine ale, so hopefully this is a good one. So as you can see, there was a nice smoky opening to this beer. So we'll get it out and into the glass. Just pour a little bit of it, I'll probably pour about half of it and then drink the other half off camera. But yeah, it looks really nice actually, really interested to try this one. But it's the one thing I've noticed that since I've come to Sweden, it's actually really hard to get beers from different parts of Sweden. When you go into Sisti and Belog it, you can only get, there's about maybe 10 or so Swedish beers you can get all over the place, but then you only get the local beers for the other half of the selection, which is a bit of a shame. I'll probably have to go up to Vorbear to get the other beers from this brewery. So. Hopefully I can do that at some point, but it's one of the kind of downsides to the nationalised beer shops that they have in Sweden. But as you can see, this guy's poured a really nice kind of dark 
orangey amber colour this one you can smell the strong kind of caramelly sugars off this as you pour it but there's a half finger of a frothy kind of creamy coloured head on this one definitely frothy rather than bumpy there's a few big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass one or two tiny little bits of sediment there and quite a few small bubbles going up towards the bottom of the glass too but it looks really really quite nice and it will be a bit of a beast because it is 10.5% so yeah we'll give it a smell and see how we get on here, we'll stick the light back up but yeah as I was saying with this beer you can smell a lot of the dark roasted sugary elements to this one so yeah as you would expect from this style of beer you've got a big sweet caramel coming out of the nose of this one maybe a bit of darker tree colour molasses in there and it's a bit toasted as well usually when you get such high alcohol strength in beer such as 10.5 percent for this one a lot of the the alcohol comes out in the, in the kind of big boozy and dark caramel malt base with this one you can also pick up a little bit of a woody or a nutty note coming out this one so there's some dark fruity character as well and you've got some plums raisins and figs just a little bit of that kind of typical red fruit and maybe a little bit of a, a candied fruit note as well almost smells like some of these uh, kind of pick and mix sweeties like Haribo or something like that there's a definite little hint of that on the, the nose of this beer on the fruity part of the nose but yeah really nice it has all of the, the elements you would expect from a barley wine beer so big dark caramel maybe a little bit of molasses in there like I was saying treacle as we call it in Scotland but molasses in America of course a bit of toasted character and you can pick up a little bit of a bready uh, note underpinning this beer but there's a definite woody or nutty infusion to this one it does smell just a little bit um, kind of medicinal as well actually they get the, sometimes the boozy elements come out as a bit medicinal when you've got some of these fruity esters as are in this beer but yeah smells really nice so as I always say have a good smell of your beers before you actually get stuck into them so yeah without further ado let's get stuck in so this guy is the Bottled Badger Barley Wine Beer from Folkered Femton in what, how do you say it again Longos in Holland in Sweden so that's really quite nice actually fruit in this one is quite subtle yeah yeah this one in terms of the flavours coming across to me it's, it's striking me as quite um, medicinal in flavour and it's actually really quite nice it's a very warming beer a lot of these American barley wines have more of a, a kind of really big fruity and kind of sugary flavour to it but this one is definitely you can you can tell that it's going back to the English style of beer where it's a bit more kind of malt forward and a bit boozy if that makes sense almost if if you kind of compare if you think about the American uh, double IPAs or the American IPAs in comparison to the old English style IPAs it's really quite an interesting take on the style this one yeah definitely more of a, a traditional barley wine this one really really quite an enjoyable beer this actually and just as I say before you focus on the actual flavours of this beer just sugar it around your mouth a bit and let the whole palate adjust before you try to pick out the individual components of the flavour but yeah this is definitely an interesting barley wine I've never reviewed one that is a proper kind of old school English style um, barley wine and this one is actually really nice it's a really interesting variant of the style so as you would expect with the flavours you're getting a big um, dark caramel flavour off this one probably a little bit of a treacle or molasses however you want to call it probably a little bit of that in the middle of the palate too there is an element of a, a kind of bready blanket over this over the the tongue in this beer too and there are definitely woody and kind of nutty flavors infused in there but it is at the same time to me it reminds me of some of, of medicine a little bit it's got a kind of medicinal flavor too I always like the flavor of these kind of syrups and the cough syrups and things like that it reminds me just a little bit of that in some way and I, I really like it actually
there is a bit of a kind of um, how do you say like a sort of cakey flavour to this as well like a dark um, not quite rum cake but a, a cake that's maybe been infused with brandy or something like that it's got a nice dark um, kind of marzipani or or kind of boozy cake flavour into this beer as well it's, it's, it's there's a lot of stuff going on in it it is quite complex and it will test your palate but I really like it that's the main thing there's a whole load of flavours going on in this beer and I love it when a beer has quite a bit going on and you can pick out all the complexity and the flavour it's really quite well done and as I say quite a quirky uh, example of the style a traditional old school English barley wine yeah really nicely done so as I said you've got a big treacle and molasses note that goes right down the middle of the palate there a bit of sweeter caramel right in the centre of the palate too but it's got a kind of light bready but also quite a strong kind of boozy or slightly marzipan -y cake flavour maybe not quite marzipan but it's a nice kind of um, brandy infused cake something like that it's definitely a cake that it tastes like cake that's been that's kind of been mixed with brandy or bourbon or something like that it's got that kind of flavor to it in the in the malt base really nice yeah there is a little bit of um a spicy character in there as well you'll feel that with the, the, the malt base, it's not wheaty or anything like that and it's not peppery, it's an unusual kind of, uh, not not even quite cinnamon or something like that, it's really just a slight, a, a, a very unusual spice character to it but it works with that nice big boozy um, kind of rum cakey flavour that you're getting out of this one, really beautifully done this beer, that's all you can say about it, as long as the beer tastes good you know, that's the main, that's the main part of it. But yeah, as you drink more and more of this beer, the more kind of woody, kind of a, a slightly oaky flavour actually. Not really, it doesn't have much in the way of vanilla though, but there's a definite woody and kind of nutty uh, flavour coming out of this beer. It's a really nice, just little subtle part of the flavour on this one. On the edges of the tongue, where you'll get the hoppy characteristics of the beer, there's a definite um, slightly earthy character at the very back corners of the palate and it becomes a bit smoother as you move away from that and come round towards the front curve of the tongue. But there's definitely a lot of dark red stone fruits in this beer. You've got raisins, plums and figs. I'd be more tempted to say it's quite forward on the raisin flavours. It is a dark kind of smooth flavour you're getting out of this. There's a, there's not much of, in the way of the sort of candied fruits that I was picking up in the aroma. I was saying that it kind of smelled a little bit like Haribo's and stuff, but there's not much in the way of those candied fruits. That's more of a thing you'll get in, a, in an American style barley wine. But yeah, really nice beer actually. It does taste very medicinal and uh, nice and cakey. It's, really is quirky, you have to check this beer out if you come across it, really a, a very interesting take on the style, hopefully um, since the guy's English, hopefully they can export that over to, to England and hopefully up to Scotland at some point too because it really is an interesting beer so I would say if you enjoy a barley wine and you want something that is a bit different definitely check that but those fruity characters in this characteristics in this one, definite kind of plums raisins and figs coming out there but not so much of the candied fruits that I was picking out in the flavour earlier it's maybe a bit of a slightly smooth um, grassy hop to this but I would say the main component of the hop is that earthiness that just comes forward a little bit and it does smooth out to give you a bit of a, a grass a slightly smooth grassy hop but that's kind of overpowered by the dark sort of stone fruit flavours in this beer so Overall, just, just pay attention to the flavours in this beer and enjoy it. It's definitely a tasting beer rather than one that you would go in session. This is a nice beer, a beer that you'd have maybe on like a winter's night or something. Sit by the fire and enjoy a nice kind of dark, warm and quite boozy beer like this. Definitely a taster for me, but at the same time I would say it's also probably quite a good dessert beer. But yeah, in terms of the mouthfeel of this one, definitely full bodied. The carbonation is quite smooth but at the same time the beer has a really oily mouthfeel but that helps bring out some of the cakey flavours and some of the sort of medicinal um, flavours that I was talking about and of course within that you've got the woody and nutty elements of the beer too as well as the dark treacle and molasses and everything going on there so this style of beer really suits that quite oily mouthfeel. 
but as you would expect with a barley wine, very malt forward, a good bit of sweetness there, but at the same time it's quite dark and it's quite roasted and um, you know it's quite medicinal as well, so it's definitely a nice dark warming beer this, but a nice little bit of juicy character from the fruits as well and just a little bit of dryness actually as you go into the aftertaste of this one, those dark kind of um, medicinal flavours in this one do become quite drying after a while and that's the, the kind of toasted, roasty character coming out of this one but a really interesting beer and a very kind of quirky take on the barley wine style for well I'm, say, I'm saying quirky and unusual but this is the more old school version of a barley wine and for me it works really well. I would, I would definitely drink this beer again but it's not one that I would drink regularly and that's simply for the fact that um, it's ten and a half percent and to me, this beer strikes me as more of a treat. If I wanted a more sessionable beer, I'd probably be more along along the lines of going for their single hop beer or the English IPA or maybe even the mild, actually, something like that. Those are more sessionable beers, but this one is a really, <coughs> pardon me, just a one-off kind of treat beer. So, yeah, go and check out uh, Falker Red Femton. Seemed like a really interesting brewery, brewing traditional styles of English beer. So if you enjoy the English styles of beer and you find yourself up in Falkenberg, or in, uh, in Vorbear, then definitely go and check out Falker Red Femton. If you do find this beer outside of Sweden, please do let me know where you're actually finding it. It would be interesting to know where they're exporting to and stuff. But anyway, overall, this is a really nice beer. As I say, a nice treat one, and it's a kind of old school English uh, sort of English barley wine beer. So if you enjoy the barley wine and want something different, then definitely go for this. But this is a treat beer. It's one that you drink every so often and you just enjoy it at night. And when you want a warming beer, then this is one you definitely want to go for. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this beer review. It's been really cool to do my first barley wine from Sweden. So hopefully this is the first of many since I've popped that cherry. But as always, please let me know in the comment section below your own thoughts on this beer, if you do happen to have tried it. I hope you're enjoying the Swedish reviews that I'm doing for you just now. Swedish viewers, please let me know some other Swedish beers to have a go of. I really would like to do some more and hopefully I can revisit Falker Red Femton in the fairly near future and review some of their more some of their other beers as well. So I thank you for watching my beer reviews. Comment in the section below and until the next one please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. There will be more Swedish reviews for you soon. But until then, slange you for now.